Hard Rock just released his debut mixtape, debut album. I don't know what you really want to call it, but One of One just released by Hard Rock. And I think this one's really interesting. Uh, Hard Rock, I'd say, is a pretty underground rapper. I don't want to say he's like super underground because a lot of people do know him, but he's definitely like not super popular. And I'd say he's in the underground with like Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely. And on this album, it's really interesting because you do have a couple of production credits from really famous producers with Filthy and Benny X. But the rest of it's produced by like Saint and Zodiac and Vanguard. And I feel like those producers are actually better and they fit Hard Rock sound a lot better than Benny X or like Filthy or any of the other producers do. Just because I feel like uh, Hard Rock's been working with Saint. I know he's been working with Saint and Zodiac just because uh, Saint and Zodiac have kind of been producing his stuff since the start, even since like 2021 with like Hardcore Drugs. It's like that's Zaynor producing it and Zaynor is on this album with Darkness. And I feel like Darkness is probably the best produced song on this entire album. It really fits that kind of cyber speed sound. I don't I don't really know what you want to call it, but that cyber speed kind of sound that uh, like Hard Rock, Tana, Roland Thrax, Southside Silhouette, Until Japan have all been kind of working with. And I think it it is a really good album in a way. Like I wouldn't say it's a great album because... There, there are a couple songs on here that I don't really like, and I feel like there's nothing that like totally blows me out of the water, but Complicated on here is a really bad song. But I feel like the rest of it on here is really, really solid. N- nothing super special because I think working with Saint and Zodiac exclusively could kind of help Hard Rock grow. Not grow, but I'm saying like, perfect the sound that he's working on now while working with other producers might help him grow into different sounds but i think with this he has a mix of newer sounds kind of or other producers trying to replicate that cyber speed sound that zodiac and saint have kind of perfected i don't know it's a little interesting but i think there has to be a way to mix those two in and not make it sound like this the saint and zodiac one sounds so much better because he just fits on them a lot better i don't know it's it's weird but i think this is an album that really could blow up that underground ish genre i don't know what you want to call it like i said i'm calling it cyber speed here just because there, there's like a cyber underground page that like speeds up the the songs and that's really what it sounds like especially like fear no man and yeah by roland thrax who are both both songs are produced by Zodiac and Saint. I feel like those really fit the sound that's on here and like the the beats, how the beats sound on here. And I think that cyber speed kind of sound works really well with hard rock. I think hard rock is, you know, of course a, a leader in that genre. I feel like he's probably the biggest one out here. I mean, of course, Tana is like a bigger artist, but I don't think any of the Tana songs are really out streaming what, uh, hard rock has and I think this is an album where hopefully like I I know a lot of people don't want like their favorite artists or like their favorite underground artists to like blow up on TikTok but hard rock is an independent artist it's not like any of this money is going straight to a label or anything but like you kind of have to hope these songs blow up on TikTok or Twitter or someplace where like other people can see them like yeah like i said all these people who listen to these underground artists don't want their favorite artists to blow up on tiktok because they're like oh my god they're only going to listen to the one part of that one song but that's kind of what just has to happen especially nowadays when tiktok and twitter and all these other places are the main place people find new music and i think that's kind of going to have to happen with this feel live has already blown up on tiktok and raw xd by hard rock so there already are like people on tiktok that are promoting hard rock songs i think that's probably going to happen with this i think hard rock really has like i said not perfected his sound but he's really worked on this uh cyber speed sound on this one like feel live that was that's a, that's a little different in terms of the sound but i don't know i i feel like the the sound on this album is pretty solid throughout the entire thing like I said, the Saint and Zodiac songs do sound a lot better with songs like Barry. I don't think that's actually that's actually produced by someone else. I think it's uh it's produced oh, no, Barry is produced by Saint. I don't know what I'm tripping with that. Uh Range Era is produced by Zodiac. 
Wave is pretty solid by Benny X and Filthy. Darkness by Zaynor. Marathon by Cody and Saint. And even like Bleh, even though it already came out a while ago, produced by Saint. Those are all probably the best songs on the entire album. And they're all produced by Saint and Zodiac, who really work well with um, Hard Rock. Again, the synergy but just between them works really well, especially with these like long-term producers because they've been working on Hard Rock sound and Hard Rock's been working with them to kind of create the music that he wants to his entire career. And I, th- I think this, it really shows his strengths in those. But so like I said, some of the other producers don't work as well, like something like Complicated. I'm not going to hate on the producers here, but having the Avril Lev- Levine sample on here and like it just doesn't work well at all with Hard Rock Sound. And I just don't think it works well, but I don't, I don't know. It's so weird because, like, why are you throwing in an Avril Lavigne sample on, like, a dark trap album? It seems really weird to me. I don't I, – like I said, I don't know. I don't know what the producers were thinking with that one, but it it doesn't seem like the right move to me. But overall, this album, I think, is, is really, really solid. It's not a 16 for 16 album. Is it worth 40 minutes of your time? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a great thing that – He's playing out 16 songs in 40 minutes instead of something like Destroy Lonelies. That's 25 songs in an hour and 20 minutes long. Like, it, it, cl- it clearly is, you can clearly see that someone like Hard Rock is taking, not taking his time, but he's only throwing on the best stuff onto the album. And that's where, like, the Destroy Lonely album is 25 songs in double the length of this one. And that's where you can see Hard Rock is a lot better in that those I don't know in that realm because Destroy Lonely is putting out a label album and Hard Rock's releasing it independently and it's like Hard Rock only needs to release 16 songs. Destroy Lonely is definitely told by his label, "Oh, you got to put out this many songs or you should put out all these songs because we want to sell more copies and stuff." And while Destroy Lonely is of course way bigger, I think Hard Rock's album here is a lot better than If Looks Could Kill, and I think it's the better Dark Trap, Cyber Speed album, whatever you want to call it. Even like Lucky with Sex, Money, Drugs. I mean, there's 15 songs on that one, 32 minutes. I feel like this is more in line with that, where it's kind of like a mixtape rather than an album. And I think this album by Hard Rock is really taking him out of the underground and should put him on the map here. I don't know about Album of the Year or anything like that, but... It's a very, very solid album, and especially the songs with Saint and Zodiac and even like that one Zaynor song. They're really good. Any artist that can keep working with those same producers, always hitting it well. Either way, though, this album by Saint, 6 out of 10, very solid album. Nothing extremely special to me. Keep working with the same producers you've been working with, though.